Hey everybody, my name is Karik and in this video I'm going to be showing you exactly where you can find and purchase all of the brand new class specific tomes and toys that have been added into World of Warcraft's patch 7.0.3. Now I'd just like to point out that at the time of recording this video, currently there is nothing new known for warlocks or warriors, but for everyone else I've got you covered. It's also worth pointing out that when going to the respective vendors in order to purchase these items that I'm about to list for you, you will need to be on the correct class, otherwise you won't see those items on the vendor. We're going to attempt to do this in alphabetical order, so let's start with Death Knights. Death Knights, you're going to want to head to the Acherus and use your death gate to get even hold. Speak to Dread Commander Thalanor, who is on the entrance level of the Acherus, and he has a necrophile tome of Corpse Explosion, which will teach you the Corpse Explosion ability. Druids, head on over to Moonglade, go and find an NPC within one of the houses there called Lorelei Wintersong. She has a number of tomes and also a toy and an inscription recipe which is bind on pickup so unless your druid has inscription you're not going to be able to make much use of this. But if you were initially quite worried that you had lost some of your druid forms Fear not, because you can now relearn those by purchasing these tomes. You've got Treant form and Stag form in the form of these tomes. You also have Tome of the Wild's Flap that teaches you the flap ability, and to Track Beasts teaches you the Track Beast skill. You have Charm Woodland Creature, which is just adorable, but you also have a toy called Nature's Beacon, which teleports you to a natural location. Hunters, what better place to have to go than to Hemet Nassingwari's base camp in Sholazar Basin in Northrend. Here you will be able to speak to an NPC called Mardan Thunderhoof in order to purchase Pet Training Manual Fetch, Pet Training Manual Play Dead, The Art of Concealment which teaches you the aspect of the chameleon ability and Hunter's Call, a toy that replicates the glyph of the aspects where you call on a random animal companion that represents a random hunter aspect to follow you for 15 seconds. Mages, there's quite a few things for you to obtain in patch 7.0.3, but first of all, let me tell you about the vendor you can find in Dalaran, that is the North Ren Dalaran. There is a shop called Sorceress Sisters that has a magical goods vendor called Endora Moorhead Within. Now, she can sell you the Mystical Tome Arcane Linguist and also Mystical Tome Illusion. Now there's also a toy for sale here called Familiar Stone in which you can basically summon either a little fire elemental pet or you can get an arcane or an icy familiar, depends on your spec but it's pretty neat. Now the other items you can get are brand new tomes of polymorph which basically means you can instead of polymorphing something into a sheep you can now change it into a monkey, an arctic grizzly curb, there's also a tome of polymorph turtle and finally a porcupine. Now if you're looking for the tome of polymorph, in fact if you're looking for any of these tomes you're going to want to farm these on your mage because all of these items are rare drops from very specific mobs within the world of Azeroth. If we start off with Tome of Polymorph Polar Bear, then you're going to want to go to Dragon Blight in Northrend and farm the Arctic Grizzlies that are there. It is a very, very low drop rate for all of these Polymorph Tomes, at least 1-2% to 2 maybe? It is exceedingly low and these bears, there's not very many of them, so if you're looking to farm that one, good luck. Hopefully you won't have any competition on your server for it because, as I said, there's not very many of them. Tome of Polymorph Porcupine drops from porcupines in Pandaria. There's quite a few different locations you can check for these personally. I tried within Jade Forest and also in the Dread Wastes. There was quite a few different porcupines, they're all neutral mobs. But again, drop rate is super, super low. If you want the turtle tome, then you need to go fishing in cataclysm pools. Any cataclysm pools should be able to give you a chance to fish up this tome of polymorph turtle. And finally, the monkey polymorph tome, as you can imagine, drops from the 
random hosen within Pandaria. The only good thing about this particular item is the mobs that can drop it in the Jade Forest. They respawn really, really fast, so you, this is probably going to be the easiest one to farm. There has been some other Tome of Polymorphs data mined, but I'm not going to talk about those because currently they're unobtainable, no one knows where you can get them, but feel free to leave me a comment down below if you figure out where these items can be obtained. Monks, of course you're going to need to go to Pandaria. Head on over to Kunlai Summit to a place called Peak of Serenity. Waiting for you there is an NPC called Master Huang and he can sell you a meditation manual of Zen Flight. Paladins, Light's Hope Chapel in the Eastern Playlands is the place you want to be. Just as soon as you get off the flight, right next to the flight master is a quartermaster called Miranda Breachlock, and she has a divine tome of contemplation, which basically gives you a nice little ability where your character is made to kneel within a, a column of holy light. It only lasts a few seconds, but it's kind of cool. Same with priests. This same NPC, Miranda Breachlock, can sell you a Thaumaturgist orb which is a interesting little toy, but there's also a Scarlet Confessional book that is available to you priests, but you have to go and find a different NPC in order to buy this item, and that means heading over to Dalaran in Northrend, down into the underbelly, you will find, occasionally, an NPC called Kravitz Laurent. He is not there all the time, but when he does appear, it will only be for a limited amount of time, and it's usually in exactly the same place. Head down into the underbelly, down into the sewers, to the area where the washed up mage is just passed out behind a grill or a grate, whatever you want to call it. He will appear there. He will sell you the Scarlet Confessional book. He also has a number of other items for different classes, which I'm going to be talking about next. Next up is Rogue. And it's Kravitz Lorentz that you're going to want to visit in order to buy Dirty Tricks Volume 1 Detection, which teaches the detection ability. If your rogue also happens to be a scribe, there's a cool new glyph that you can purchase here, or a recipe for a glyph, excuse me. Your sprint leaves a smoke trail in your wake. This is called Glyph of Burnout. Absolutely perfect for rogues, but as I say, you need to be a, a scribe in order to make use of this because it is bind on pickup. Shamans, you also have an item you can purchase from Kravitz Laurent in the Dalaran Underbelly. This is actually bind on equip. So you don't necessarily have to go there with your shaman and purchase it, but this teaches hex cockroach. There's a number of other toys and another tome, Tome of Hex Compi, available from an NPC in Outland. You're going to want to head to the Throne of Elements in the Burning Crusades version of Nagrand and find an NPC called Elementalist Sharvak. She has these following toys, Vol'jin's Serpent Tome, Tadpole Cloudseeker, Raging Elemental Stone, Water Speaker's Totem, and again, there is an inscription recipe here for Glyph of Flickering. Reduces the size of your fire elemental by 15%. It is bind on pickup, so unless your shaman is an inscriptionist or a scribe, you're not going to be able to make any use of it. Well, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you found this video useful in any way, then please feel free to hit that like button. It really does help me out a lot. And don't forget to leave me your comments down below. If you come across anything that has not been mentioned in this guide, I invite you to share that information again in the comments. But for now, that's it from me. My name's Kaurik. I'll see you next time.